Hey there, Zones. This is Joshua coming at you today. Hi, how you doing? Um, so there's this guy, John M84. He's left another comment on my YouTube channel, and uh, he left this comment for my video on biblical age of consent. It would be great if if I, me, myself, if I could do more videos on this topic in biblical age of consent. So, John, I'm going to do a video on the biblical age of consent. So, uh, just just to elaborate on what happened before. So, one of the things that this biblical age of consent is based off of is a comment or uh, uh, something written in Corinthians where Paul says, uh, if a woman is past the flower of her age and needs so require, let her marry. So that means that if she is past the age of puberty, she can then marry and it does not, she does not sin. So from a biblical perspective, you have to be past the age of puberty. You have to be done with puberty basically before you can get married. Um, so uh, now one of the things that John M84 was interested in was because he was like saying like there's, there's God's law and then there's natural law and how they contradict and how we need to uh, adhere to God's law over man's law. And I, and I completely agree. However, when it comes to the biblical age of consent, consent, so women end their puberty from 16 to around 18. And the biblical age of consent throughout the United States is around 16 to 18. So I really don't see how that contradicts man's law. Because it like seems to work exactly with it. However, but when it comes to the man, oh, natural law, if a man has sex with any woman, he has to be married to her. And if he has sex with a woman that is under, has not finished puberty yet, he basically commits, you know, pedophilia, and is considered evil even in our cultural standard. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but pedophilia in this culture is like the most condemned act you could possibly ever imagine. Now, now, does that concept of pedophilia contradict what the Word of God says? No, because women are past puberty. That's the whole point of being past the flower of her age. If you're past the flower of your age, that means you are no longer a child, but an adult. And so if you're marrying, you need to marry yourself to a woman who is an adult. Now, can that be anywhere from 16 to 18? Sure, but she is well, she has finished puberty and therefore is no longer a child. So people get want to get hung up on these age requirements. And God says, I'm ignoring all age requirements. What boils down to is this. Are you done with puberty or are you not done with puberty? Because if you're done with puberty, then you can get married. But if you're not, that's considered child sex. Uh, it's pedophilia. Uh, bad. It's considered bad. It's considered evil in a sense. Anyway, I just want to bring this to your attention, John M84. I hope that you appreciate this because I know that your comments keep getting deleted and I want to make sure that your, your thoughts are put out there into the open so that everybody can share in them. Anyway, you have a great day. God bless. Oh, you know I love God because I love virtue, justice, salvation, joy, destiny. You have a great day. Bye.